Oh, it's not. It's the smoke from the 57 mil gun. I thought you were all on fire. The yeah, gun's yeah, so yeah. big, it has a massive smoke trail. Oh my god, yeah. lieber! Best gun ever. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. The Mosquito was a brilliant World War II fighter bomber, despite being mainly made out of wood. The original weapons were four 7.7, I think, mil machine guns with four 20 mil Hispano cannon. But there was another version called the Tetsi, which replaced the four cannon with one giant 57 mil Molins gun or, or cannon. Matrix, would you like to explain the history behind that? As you mentioned, the Mosquito was a very versatile aeroplane and was used by a number of units in the RAF, including Coastal Command. Uh, their normal weapon against U-boats in particular were depth charges, but if you came across a U-boat, to employ the depth charges effectively, you had to basically position yourself for an attack, during which time the U-boat would probably sink and you'd lose your target. So Coastal Command were looking for a more effective weapon and they looked at the very commonly available six pounder anti-tank gun, 57 millimeter caliber. Uh, the barrel was 50 calibers long and it was widely used. So this was a good start for an anti-submarine weapon to go in the Mosquito. The problem is you needed an, an automatic loading mechanism. There was a cigarette vending machine company called Molins. They were wondering what to do with their expertise in terms of automatic sales, cigarette sales machines. They thought they could, they could adapt this mechanism to be an auto loader for the uh, Molins six pounder. And the autoloader was deployed on the six pounder cannon on motor torpedo boats, the Fairmile Class D patrol boats that the Navy had. But they also developed a version for the Coastal Command Tetsi Mosquitoes. Its proper designation was the FB Mark 18. Uh, so they had one 57 pounder, the autoloader mechanism from Molins, carried 25 rounds and fired roughly one every second. It also fired the armor piercing 57 millimeter six pound solid shot. Uh, arm pissing round. So uh, it was would have been very effective against submarines, but the Coastal Command only converted 17 of the Mosquitoes to this mark. The attack profile had to be from 5,000 feet in a 30 degree dive with very little side slip because the auto load mechanism was prone to jamming if you had too much side slip on. But it was superseded uh, by Mosquitoes carrying rockets, which were less accurate, but they are more effective if they actually hit the target. From what I read, they did try engaging submarines with the existing 20 mil cannon and machine guns, but they did not penetrate the pressure hull, hence the need to bring in a bigger, harder hitting cannon. Okay guys, well we need to test that out today in something meaningful. So today we are going to fight against a wolf pack of German Type 7 submarines. And here they are. The way it works guys is once we get close to the wolf pack, a timer starts. At that point you've got 10 minutes to see how many you can sink and there are 15 in total. They are the Type 7C. Now the problem with the Type 7C is it was very well defended. Huge anti-aircraft defense. Too much anti-aircraft defense for us to do what we want to do today which is some meaningful or semi-meaningful science. So we've nerfed their defensive ability by telling them to hold fire and their defense is actually going to be a couple of um, APCs hidden front and rear with uh, smaller caliber guns but otherwise guys we're just shooting the submarines today um, we're going to try out a series of different caliber weapons starting with 7.62 mil machine guns the only aircraft we have exclusively with that caliber is the polycarbov type 24 with four 7.62 machine guns that should be interesting then we're moving on to 50 cal or 12.7 mil we can have a mustang or a thunderbolt which have heavy caliber machine guns no rockets and bombs to Today, guys I just want to look at the cannon that's what we're really interested in today then on to 20 mil we've got the Spitfire which as well as uh, I think four machine guns uh, it's got two cannon here a Hispano 20 mil cannon we've also got a Focke Wolf 190 I've gone for the Dora variant which as well as heavy caliber machine guns here it has 20 mil cannons here in the wing route have I got that right fly by the way yep yeah, that's true and finally onto the 57 mil and the way we're going to operate this is the 57 mil instead of these four cannon as well as the uh, four machine guns we absolutely haven't tested it out but hope it should be relatively realistically modeled any predictions guys only the mosquito. <laughs> yeah, I think only the mosquito's got any chance yeah, of doing any damage. Yeah, I think that's true. Welcome in viewers. First, I-16s with 7.62mm machine guns. Push, Matrix, Cap, Fly, Cannibal. Hello, boys. 
Guten Tag. Hello. Hello. Viewers, I'm going to include the takeoff because, let's face it, that's why you will tune in to watch us suffer and crash. So, uh, pilots, take off, get in the left orbit, and await further instructions, please. One up. Well done. Good skill. Very hard to do. Two up. I'm in VM, mummy. Ah, dang it. It's me that's going to have to crash, is it? All right, fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Two ages later, I'll be here, sir. Runways for noobs. Runways for noobs. Airborne. Ugh. I'm even putting my gear up. Find the handle. I need to do some serious dumbbells. Sorry about the noise, viewers, but as you can see, it doesn't have a frigging canopy. Because Russia. Target spare about 2805 miles from the Ethic. Roger. Oh, one of you is out on your own, whoever you are. Sorry, I was getting my gear up. Huh. Why? How have you learned how to do gear up? You've only just installed this goddamn aeroplane. I, I was just thinking, okay, there's a big handle. <laughs> it's set and labeled gear. <laughs> yeah. Mm, all right. Well, you, you have to toggle the switches, too. You do have to toggle the switches. Yeah. Might be an opportunity to the value to use to go make a cup of coffee. Right here, well, yeah. A good point, because she is not fast. Not fast at all. I don't think there's any trim in these aeroplanes, either. Nope. Trims for friggin' noobs. It's real, men, real men are hands on and demonetized. Trim is for the weak. Yep. Capitalist pigs. They <laughs> 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 get shot if you use your trim in Russia. You get shot Straight for doing up. anything, really. And demonetized. Nice formation, boys. Big, sexy, beautiful boys. There's only one horrible thing right now, Cap. Because mm. I just said it like. 10% of all controls, I don't can look around for zoom in out. Ah. Formation flying just with straight in front looking is horrible. I believe you know whose problem that is fly. Right, time started. Right, go, 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 go. Let's go. Right, careful not shoot each other. I know it's easy to do. The ass if we don't shoot each other. Damage report. We are pepping. zero. Oh my god, there are no damage being done. Zero percent damage. <laughs> I want to stop you. It, it looks like it's a lot, but it doesn't. Off. Well, it's kind of right, right? I mean, it's you're firing an AK 47 at a giant ship. I suggest we re attack the same one, guys. One percent. I just as well have put some holes in their washing, drawing on the line. Pretty much. One, we've done one percent. We can do it. Try not to shoot the uh, APCs by accident. Uh, they'll get upset. Uh, just realise I messed something up. One of the nice things about this aeroplane is you don't have to go very far to uh, turn back in. Yeah, that is very nice, isn't it? Three percent. Three percent. We can do this for ten minutes. Oh shit! The APC are upset. Yeah, especially as an open cockpit, we're a vulnerable to pilots tonight. Plane will be fine, but we'll, we'll die. Five percent. Well done, guys. Watch your engines. Remember, give them a rest. This is Russian technology here. I'm oh, trying to get it right down the hatch. I might be able to snipe the captain. Seven percent. Ooh, baby. That's kind of sexy. You know how uh, the, the captain is called in a German Uber? Captain. Lloyd. He is the captain and it's called in German uh, um, Navy, he's the captain, but all crew members just call him Herr Kalloid. Roger. You know there's a modern series for Das Boot. It's really good. Oh yeah. Hey, I never watched it really. I'm, I'm so much fan of the old one. Almost Winchester. Come on, we can't even do 10% damage. Well, at least it's modeled right, because that's exactly what it should be. It's going to take some splinters off the teak deck, but that's it.
All right. Obviously, we can't do any damage, guys. I'm going to give up a new challenge uh, for me. Can I land Landing? before 10 minutes is up? Sorry, viewers. They're just not powerful enough guns. Yeah, 12%. That's all. Challenge for fly. First try landing. Can it be done? My nun is on no. 13% we've left it with. Yeah, 30. Well, we've, so it's got 83%. Uh, no, it's got 87% health. Yeah, we ain't good in that. And let's just start plowing your face into it, which I forbid. Because that's. What with one of the easements bounce off. Destroys the science, guys. So, which one of these dials do you think is airspeed? Right. Um, says speed KTH. Yeah, mine says airspeed as well, so you got a weird one. Why well, we can never get to use this in missions? It's a, it's a cool plane, but it goes so slow you can't keep up with anything, so it's kind of pointless. Right, I'm going to try and put my gear down. One eternity later. Damn, I can't get my gear down. Son of a bee. Last question, um, flaps? Don't need to bother with them, they introduce handling problems unless you're very slow. I can't get my gear down, so I'm going in. Ready landing. Oh, it doesn't like inverted running, this thing. Yeah, funny that. No uh, direct injection in 1933 or whenever it was made. Okay, gear is coming down. Oh, uh, you jam me? How do you manage it? I can't. Um, by pressing B, honestly. You serious? Oh, god, damn it. Yeah. Deploy brake. I'm an awesome, honest person, no right. Brake depleted. Landed. All right, gonna get someone down. Good landing, real good landing. Not easy. Just a stubby, awkward dog of a plane. Please say me your gears already down. Yeah, gears down. You finished your landing. I am not trusting Cap, but yeah, anyway. it's fine. You know when I said your gears down? I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Flying, you know, you have a be... big visual indicator in your cockpit, you're no, stating no, no, your landing no, no, gear. No, 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 no. Yeah, you, right. you know what the problem is? I'm flying that thing like 10 minutes. It's got to be done, it's got to be done by feel. Where the hell is Matrix? Good work, Matrix. Good toe braking. Right, 50% attrition, that'll do us, and zero subs destroyed, but damn we look sexy doing it. Let's move on to American 50 cal. Two Mustangs, two Thunderbolts, all armed with Browning 50 cal machine guns. I always forget whether it's M2 or M3. I think M3 was for aviation, because of its rate of fire, and M2 was for ground, but I probably got that mixed up. I usually have, guys. Uh, when you're ready, uh, please take off. We shouldn't have any problems taking these off. Viewers, I'm trying to Thunderbolt. I'm having problems with it in air to ground at the moment. I'm trying to find out what that problem is. All right, Red Tail's leading. Remember, we're slower than you. Roger. Come another Mustang. Push the lever forward, please. Thunderbolts, up you go. You won't catch them up. Close up. Start left hand turn. Big pair of jugs. to me to crash again I suppose all right let's go all right like riding a bike like riding the village bike viewers it's a better tow brake okay Airborne. One thing I will say for this big jug is it's nice and quiet. Oh, I've got to close my window. Very fly. Um, circling and right now over rotor airfield. Roger, I've just got to get my guns and stuff set up. Mm -hmm. Still in left hand turn. All lights on. Now, this is firepower, guys. Eight. American 50 cals. That is a lot of boom boom in your face. I mean, it's not high explosive rounds, but high explosive rounds don't affect giant steel plates on the side of submarines. Armor piercing does. 
And there were reports of these killing tanks with their guns. They had to somehow hit the belly of the tanks, but... Or be aft, often on tanks, be, be aft section. Well, still going through big metal plates. All right, let's do it. All right, good angle for attack. Again, try not to hit the APCs, because I forgot to set them not to run away. They got super cap. Cap being cap. Mm, basically, timer started. Here we go, if you enjoyed what we did. Right, let's see if I've got my eye and my problem sorted with my rudder. I think I have. I can aim. I can aim in a P-47 for the first time. A lot of firepower. Six percent. God, not as good as I was hoping, but we're going to kill some. Oh, I need the fresh breeze. Really? Oh, dang it! Explosion. God damn it, guys! I'm trying to do it science. didn't do any damage to the boat. All right, fine. Good hits. Twenty-five. Yeah. Thirty-seven. Side attack seem best. Look at this skinniness. Ow, ow, ow. Well, someone will ask me why I'm playing with my tails, but it should be a thing today in Nassau uh, Vier. 48! 48. Come on, let's just get one. Sixty-three. Ow. Always when I see, see a jacket shot, I hear from Cap. Ow. Yup. Pick it on me. Oh, Slow ass jug. It's not doing anywhere like the damage I thought it was going to do, guys. Seventy-two. And it's on fire. It's, it's not dead, it's not dead. Oh, I've finally got me aiming in this plane. This is much better. I could get to really like this thing, actually. Yeah. Good. Don't take her in a dogfight and she's beautiful. Same with the 51. Wouldn't I have so much love for my Dora and my Kofus? I would fly more from the river. Too many good warbirds in this game, that's the problem. 87. 91? 91. But I'm honest, yeah, I, I will be betraying my German warbirds once we cause it. But. Whoever's in that Mustang, you've got a few pop roots on your belly, mate. He's fine. Yeah, I got a good look at it. Shit, That's Winchester it. at 93. Winchester at 93. I'll be a wild weasel. Finish her off, guys. That's a lot of firepower, and we've, we've probably sunk 2,000 rounds into that sucker or more. Winchester. 94. Come on, guys. Cut. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Come on, guys! Don't hit your face. It doesn't do any damage. APC gunners, the best aim in the world, I think. DCS. How hard that would be to hit anything. God damn it! Oh, ninety-seven. Oh, come on, guys! Please let us kill one sub today. Still ninety-seven. Any drugs with ammo? Negative. Shit. Hang around, guys. If need be, I will allow kamikaze because we've got to go with something. So you went for the convertible option on your P-47 mm -hmm. cap? Yeah, I think it, I think it uh, inspires the soul. It makes you fight harder. Oh, hello. Oh, I see a party. Yeah, hello, Clark. Getting ready for the inevitable. Fire, fire, fire. Come on, push, come on, push, come on, push. Maybe. Oh. All right, I can see where this is going. My guys, follow me. Uh, getting tail, uh, getting trail formation, please, to the obvious. Cows closed. Going to be weapon three, apart from you, flight two, one. Mark, we're going to kill something today. View us if it kills us, and it will kill us. Right, just watch out for compressibility. Alarm! Dead center! Yeah, we got it! One! We managed one! Jesus, H. Corbett, that was tough submarine.
20 mil cannons. Each Spitfire has two 20 mil cannons. Each Dora has two 20 mil can cannons. Uh, unpause. I'm aware I'm in the middle of everyone's way. I can't do much about it. As always. always. Uh, other right Dora can go. You'll probably go over my way. Other Dora cannot go. Mm -hmm. That's me. Right, this is going to smash submarines, guys. Smash them to bits. What are you guys doing what I say and not crashing into me? I could change that. Watch this go wrong. Uh, okay. Don't forget Kevin Red again. Why will go so hard? Oh, rudder right. What is that all about? Well. Airborne. No crashy crashy. Big firepower here, viewers. My only slight worry is that the um, yeah, the cannon. <laughs> um, we'll cut that out of the video. I would not want to ruin the brand that I've carefully sculpted over the years. Why won't it bloody go up? It go up. Why, why is the matter with my gear today? I can't get get it up in anything. I'm literally <laughs> smacking, <laughs> the, smacking the G button. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh my fire. I guess I'm going with my gear down because I can no longer get the gear up. Is there a button I can press in here? Yeah, it should be left side of the control panel. It's pretty much up. Control panel. Absolutely nothing. Nothing here. Oxygen valve. Oh, is it a lever somewhere? Yeah, uh, under the wobble pump. Big lever. Unbelievable. I can't find a gear handle. Is that it? Drop tank? No, above that. Fuel pressurization valve? Bollocks, is there any gear lever in here? <laughs> oh, fine, you know what? I'm too old and poorly for this. Where are you, look? Going with gear down. Just off the west end of the runway. You, you know, Cap, but many British uh, fans will be angry on you on this side. There is no gear lever in this plane. I'm sitting <laughs> looking at every <laughs> lever. That, that lever it's is drop tank. That no, one is. By your right knee, it says yep. chassis on the outside. Yep, visual. That big lever sticking out the top is the undercarriage lever. Oh, didn't know that. I usually just press the G button. It's locked, so that's why it's broken. It won't move. Never had this problem. I've flown this thing a thousand times. I've never had a broken gear. And now it's go going up. Is it going up? Yeah, it is. It's, it's up. gone up. It's gone up. I'm a hero, a British hero. I've never been so proud of myself. Let's go and kill some frigging Frankfurters. I mean, submarines. Ich bin ein Berliner. Yes? You know what a Spitfire never wants to see, yeah? No. Look oh. into the mirror. Yeah, I, I'll just pull right at 60 turn. What are you going to do about it? Run, guys. We It turns out we're actually five miles back, and you do a very sharp turn, uh, 360. We had some minor problems with gear. Fly had some minor problems with the gear. <laughs> Not me. That's exactly what it sounded like. Yeah, let's go. 3%, god damn it. Alright, are my Hispanos firing? Yes, they definitely are. Oh, this is going to be a hard day, guys. A hard, yeah. hard day. Kev, do you want to hear the bad news? Yeah, I'm on fire. i just seen that. God damn no. it. No, they hit your eye cooler. I deliberately turned their skill levels to terrible. And I'm already almost dead. I'm having such bad games at the moment. And you know what happens when you're out of oil pressure, right? Um, the engine works better, more efficient. No, the, 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 actually the, right. uh, and the prop goes on zero pitch. Yeah, I can already feel that happening right now. No pitch, no pitch. God damn it. Burn those bearings out. I hear everything. Oh, I got them. I think I managed to use all my Hispano ammo out. That's good. Can I pitch in the prop? My Yuma is it? I might be able to get one more pass. Right on 20%. Oh, what cap? 23. I think we never fought. At, at least the I-16s all survived. Yeah, right? Firing as with basically AKs, I've given them two AKs to fire us, that's all they've got. They've shot a bunch of warbows down, that is simply not possible. 31%. 
Okay, I'm Winchester Hispanos, so I'm not going to do any more damage anyway. I'm surviving with no prop pitch. Super cap, best cap. Right, the mission remains. Take one friggin... Why did I bother putting 15 of these things in? Well, it's super cap. I believe that is the reason. Whoa, we almost had a mid-air someone. Very exciting. It was exciting, wasn't it, Boosh? Lots of hits, no damage. Ah. Yeah, you're out for Spano as well. I am indeed. You're slightly ruining, ruining his uh, Battleship Grey paint job, which may piss him off. Because friggin' Inga and Jürgen are going to have to repaint it when they get back to base. Which they will do, because there's no way we can kill it. And Hans and Wilhelm will have me too. Yeah, Hans. And, and then the, the outer half. Hans Gruber. Best of baddie. Schlimmer bad. Oh no! I'm all out. Right, I'm going to try and land on it. That's all I've got left, guys. Damn it, who was the actor? Uh, 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 uh. Great actor. Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Ich bin Alan ja, Rickman. Nee. Nein, Hans, Hans Gru... Uh, She's in defense stuff. Oh, I'm amazing. I'm so good. Shit, yeah, that was good. 52. If we kill this, then I'm a friggin' Venezuelan. Uh, is, I think your nationality is assured. Why is everything so friggin' hard? There's a joke uh, in there I'm somewhere. Right, well, we wait now. Uh, who, who was that uh, 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 Austrian? Uh, 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 Aus Österreich? Him. Uh, yeah, glor in Glorious Bastards. Uh, oh. uh, Adolf Hitler? I sneak. Nah. Uh, oh, no, um, I know, I can't remember his name. Arnold, the only Austrian. <laughs> nah. Chris Christoph Weitz, is it? That's yeah, right, Christoph that's right. Christoph Weitz. Oh, isn't yeah, he good? Yeah. Isn't he good? He's great. Okay. Sure enough, sure enough. Yeah, I see. I, I heard order of. Boom. On the order of the iron dildo and the monetized. Wow. I'm defecting, I know in which German you would. <laughs> <laughs> With a broken Rücken. Yeah. You have permission to put your faces into it because this has just turned into a ridiculous war game. You know, like all of them always turn into whenever I try and do anything of any interest. As normal. Yep. We're shooting techs. Percent? Six. 60. What a push. That's the same problem. 65. 68. Yes, I was wondering why you no know, one could hear me. When I found out, I mute myself. Embarrassing for you, guys. I mean, we weren't mm -hmm. complaining, don't get me wrong, but still. Haha, 69. Wowee. <laughs> Pooping his little German panties. Pantyhosen. Achtung, Jagdflieger. Achtung, Alarm, Alarm. Winchester, no damage. We are just running that cock down now, viewers. Running it down. We need to play some Wolf. Did you ever play Wolf Pack with us, Fly? I don't think so. Or uh, once, we but should we, learn. we, we not super fun. did really shop together. It's, yeah. um... A new patch has come out, I promise to play it. I'm waiting for it until I feel a bit better and then I wanna push the button as it were. Yeah, if we do it on on right, in, in the afternoon when we could do it, otherwise I'm on work, you know. If you like, yeah. Full room roof is in a submarine. Hmm. Yep. Got for oops. Seventy percent and I'm basically out of ammo. Alright, we just went for the Yeah! We just went for the clock now. Oh, actually, we, we could man a complete whole uh, German-speaking uh, uh -huh. submarine. Yeah. We, we have we have Milo who can speak German. Really? Of course. What the hell? Why is an, an Irish man can't speak two languages? What the hell? Milo Mi Milo lives in in Berlin. You know that. Ach so, nice. He lives and works in Berlin. I, um, know, I knew that not. So of course, Elkin, of course, he, his mother is German and he lived long and served in. The German hair, so army. We we get German crew together, that, definitely. Mm, I have to warn you, it's quite cramped in there, and my hands wander everywhere. 
everywhere. <laughs> so just be warned. Don't mention the smell. Right. Oh, I can do we've it. Got, we've got I, it I down to red. I, I, I see once we we, we, we have one yeah, whole count. German U-Bird. Uh, we, oh. we have... The APC's 20. mounting it. As we're just running down the clock, we've got nothing better to talk about. Look at the APC trying to mount it on the, on the rear. Why wouldn't you do Wait, that? What? Yep. Time's up. And <laughs> mount. <laughs> I mount you. He's pushing it. He's, um, there he is. That's the, that's the mount there. That's, that, that's the money shot. That's where you get the clicks, right there. Right, um, that was just miserable in every other way. Stand by. One Molin's gun and four machine guns. Punch it, Hunkmeyer. I'm trying to create interesting things for you viewers. I'm trying not to do F-22 Raptor clickbait. That is hard. God, I got them and I forgot the stone has to ah, breaking fly. like normal. Everyone can see. It doesn't. I know. It's horrible, isn't it? Yet another really difficult plane to take off. But you know what, Cat? Yes, fly. You did get it back. I'll give you that. Right. All right, super cap. I've got this friggin' pin beautifully. 100% best cap right now. I mean, there might be some caps that are better, but not in this server, not on this runway. And I even found the gear handle. Achtung, airborne. Yeah, right, you gotta do a little thing to get the gear up. This is a giant Norba. Oh no, my gun's went fire. Oh no, what have I done wrong? Right, it's the thing press. Yes. Is that turned on? I my guns won't fire. Oh, yes, it will. Oh, there's a delay. There's a delay. How could I not remember that? God damn it. All right. Uh, leader, uh, we can go, whoever you are. Let's go. Yeah, I'll roll out on 290. I struggle. Yes, another plane I struggle with. The pitch, I, find, I really struggle with it. Basically, as I get older, I get whingier and rubbisher. That's the, that's the only problem I'm having, viewers. And all my other problems. Yeah, replacing campus is, is a bit of work. Yes. Somebody's making a lot of noise in my right ear. Yeah, it does that. His plane's loud as well. <laughs> All right, time for my massive aiming problems with this plane. See that? I'm moving the stick one millimeter of yours and it does that. I don't know what I've done wrong. Always to do something wrong. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus, one of you's a 7.62 nearly killed one of us. Oh my God, the recoil of it. The recoil of the... I can't hear because the recoil just smashes your... How are we all oh, dead? Oh, it's epic. 12%. Oh, it's not. It's the smoke from the 57mm gun. I thought you were all on fire. The yeah, gun's yeah, so yeah. big, it has a massive smoke trail. Oh, my God. Yeah. Lieber. Best gun ever. Uh, Dark made it for us, viewers. It's a mod of the original uh, Mosquito. Replaces four 20mm guns with one 57 tank gun. I'm going in behind this guy so I can see his giant friggin' smoke trail. I thought you were not dying. The recoil is so big though, we'll never hit the thing, so it's all completely irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Oh, I'm the recoil. Watch my thing jump, viewers, when I press fire. That's stupid. Seventeen percent. Oh, that's terrible. I think the problem is we're just not hitting it, guys. I got a hit and I got like three percent of one hit. It might be worth us going down the radial. I know I don't usually advise it in a warbird, but I'm going to try going down the radial. Maybe the u boat's overmodeled. I don't know. I mean, we struggled all day. Guys, try down the radial because keeping that recoil is just impossible. Ah, uh, come on, believe me, have some right. Yeah, Matrix. Jesus Christ, that was close. Ah, uh, not doing enough damage. Sorry, viewers. It is, it is genuinely set up as a 57mm gun, but it's just not not doing enough. I think you need to get it fairly close to be sure of hitting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you need to, like, prematurely aim up so it hit that big fires. In real life, one hit would destroy it because you punch your hole right through the both sides. Maybe the ammo type is not right. Maybe that's what's not modeled right. I don't know. I 
dance creation, I don't know. He's skiving at the moment. He's not coming to work. You mean the plan work went pretty dark? <laughs> no, I don't get it. Right, I'm gonna put this one right down his hatch. I can keep this plane steady for one second, which I can't clearly. Too much recoil, nothing I can do. Ah, I'll give up anyway. You guys carry on. As soon as I press the trigger, it just dances about like a complete knob who, place. Who, who went into the drink? I'm not sure I even hit it yet. Uh, some, yes. some handsome guy, I believe. Yeah, most of you oh, run out of ammo. You run out, a lot of you are out of ammo. This is the toughest warboat in the history of the world, viewers. It's made from Krupstahl. Some of your bullets are hitting. The vast majority of your bullets are missing. I'm watching you guys. 54. Oh, who is that? You're out. The Nazis had a saying, hard to be Krupstahl, what was right. meaning as strong as Krupstahl. K-U-P-P. -P. Roger. For double P. Today, uh, the, the uh, firm still exists, but they mainly do like uh, kitchen inventory stuff. Yeah. Winchester on cannon, 62%. I read somewhere that a uh, U-boat commander wasn't worried about getting shot at it by anything less than three inch. Wow, that's 75 mil. Yeah. You no need idea. to think about Cap, yeah? A U-boat needs to withstand enormous pressure on a boat. Yeah. So they really study build anything. Right, so the sail, the main sail has got really thick steel then. Yeah. Or well, reactors really armor. What you really pierce with smaller arms are the ballast tanks and stuff. 70%. Roger. That said, guys, all you'd need to do is strafe the conning tower with some, with with anything, and you'd not you'd not get the capability to kill stuff, but you'd knock its periscope out. Oh, what, what, what? fire! Dark fire! <laughs> yeah, I put two of the big bullets into the house. <laughs> well done. What percent is it? Seventy. Yeah, Seventy-seven. If you get the seven mil rounds actually on the target, they do quite a bit of damage. See your nose bucking about when that thing fires. Uh huh. 79. Damage. 81. Big cannon. Ah, I couldn't get it lined up. Ow, ow, ow. What the hell? 82. Oh, that's a good shot, that is. That's a great shot. Look at that. I'm Steven Spielberg. I'm Steven Spielberg. Time's up. Oh, God yeah. damn it. Put your face, put your face, put your face, put your face, put your face. Make that face max sword. Ah, sorry viewers, we've completely failed. Um, the 7.62 did no damage at all. Got 10% damage. The 50 cal, we did kill one, I think. Yes, we did. We killed one. The 20 mil did nothing. And 57, I, for some reason, it just didn't do very well. I don't know why that is. I don't know enough about how you model the bullets and ammo. I can damage. So I apologize. And you probably noticed by now we don't script the results of these so we just do and sometimes you'll get some silly war games like this as a result but it's honest i've got nothing useful at all to say uh, anything from my boys i think the 57 would have been more effective if you could guarantee get get more rounds on target the problem was actually the mozzie has this once you shoot one bullet i mean the, the one uh, second uh, delay in rounds is actually not a problem because if you fire one round the, the nose tips so much if it would fire faster it actually would like drive the nose so much down mm. you don't hit any target yeah so you wouldn't even you wouldn't want more of a rate of fire would you <laughs> the stuka and the henschel with the big uh, 70 75 millimeter gun mm -hmm. had the same problem so they only did single shots wow so just pang that's it sniper gun yeah yeah so the other thing i got was that uh, mosquito apparently is the worst Box for aircraft ever. Mm -hmm. it's four people, four people try to hit the submarine and nobody got close. Yeah. And yeah. flies, flies was probably the worst box for <laughs> yeah. seen. That is weird. So basically, but just a massive disappointment today, viewers. On that bombshell, on that cannon shell. <laughs> Bye.